I woke up at 9.30 and I was running late for sketch walk. As I scrambled to put together my sketching kit, I knew I couldn't finish my artwork if I were to do it in my usual size. Then I remember I have accumulated several sets of micro-sized drawing supplies, especially that cute little sketchbook, which I think I should try to use during the sketch walk. So in today's video, I'm going to do something fun uh, because you know how I really love to collect tiny stuff, um, ultra portable stuff. And I kind of accumulated some of these things uh, along the way. There are pencils that are the size, color pencils. Over here, I think there's close to um, 12 mini colors in this little capsule. Um, there's a set of uh, crayons, seven colors. And we also have the set of tiny watercolor um, yeah, frog that has eight colors. And I'm just going to fill this sketchbook. This is the uh, Hane Monet zigzag sketchbook. It's a tiny, tiny sketchbook. It's like an accordion um, sketchbook that kind of goes a long way. This sketchbook measures 5 thumbs 5 cm and it is an 18 page uh, fan fold. It's a micro version of the zigzag sketchbook which I have reviewed before. And I purchased all the other art supplies commercially um, either in the stores uh, or it was given to me as a gift. I think this is kind of interesting to, to see how this pan out, okay? So yeah, let's go! Everything is so small and it's easy to carry around um, and I can fit all of them in just a small bag. The sketch walk starts at 9.30. It ends about 12.30 for the throwdown. When I sat down, it was already 11.47 and I don't really have much time. So when I look at the scene, I look at what I have, I, I look at the time that I have, I knew I had to do something. I had to focus and I have to simplify. Sketching small can have its, its advantages because it helps me focus on the details of the subject matter. So if I do not have a lot of time, I probably wouldn't think about sketching the whole building. I should just sketch the, the shop that's in front of me. Because of that limited amount of space, I must pay attention to what I include in the sketch. And this helped me um, develop observational and drawing skills. So I normally ink and wash on a quarter sheet. So this is all new um, and I'm not sure if I will, it will all work out but hopefully have something to show at the end of the sketch walk. Whoops, at this point I realised that I forgot to pack an eraser. Mm, okay, let's skip the erasing. Oh well, mental note to pack an eraser next time. Yes, I'm ready to paint right now. Uh, sketches, we have changed the show and tell spot. Let's meet here instead. Okay, I'll bring the rest in here. Got extra time. Is it a sketchbook? Yes. It's so small. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Is it so easy to carry? Yeah, it's very, 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 very light. Or it's a tiny. Type. Yeah, it's like accordion type, so you can like do this. Make a long one. Yeah. At this point in time, um, most people have completed their work and have started to gather around. Yeah, it's a, it's it's actually like a yeah, it's a crafter's paint. So it's just for I, yeah, I got it from one of those airports. I think it's like for kids, little crafting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's from those like bookshop at the at the airports. Good idea to use the container. I was looking for a container, but I couldn't find a good enough one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, but very tough. <laughs> it's very hard to do. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Especially this tiny brush is so hard. Must be a makeup brush, right? No, no, it came together with this. Oh. Yeah, it's part of this tiny little kit. Yeah, I'm just trying it out. I'm not sure if it will work. It's I don't. Nice. It's fun, lah. I think it, it. You know, if if I can make it work, it will be fun to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's tiny. It's like a little craft thing. So yeah, it is. So. Yeah, but sometimes we are already uh, too small. Mini, mini one. Tiny one. Yeah, they are. I stopped painting at the small at this point because I realized I can't get more details. Um, so I have to reach out for the tiny pencils and crayons. Um, for for to add details to the sketch. It's not my usual style, but a, a small sketch is really a great way to exper experiment with new styles, new technique, and new ideas. <laughs> yeah, it is very dark. Yeah, I'm, I'm like kind of squinting, like, oh, tiny. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm quite pleased with how the tiny pencils and crayons were able to um, produce these details. Hmm, but I wonder how I would be able to keep them sharp. Hmm, maybe I should bring a little pen knife just in case. As I switch around the tiny pencils and uh, crayons, um, I thought I should probably make pack something to hold them just in case I drop them and lose them. Yo! Hey! Yeah, I'm doing like, yeah, micro. Yes, that's the word. Micro! <laughs> Sketching small can be low pressure because it's very small. I can, I can just do a little uh, sketch and if I don't like it, I can move on to the next one within a few minutes. And I don't have to worry about ruining a big piece, you know, no pressure. Oh, time check, 12.17. Ah, made it for the throw down. So I think sketching small has one good point and that it, it, it is time efficient. So it allows me to create or allows you to create something very quickly. I can complete the sketch in, in just 20, 30 minutes. Sorry, excuse me. There. <sighs> this is by no means a masterpiece, but at least I had fun painting it. Have you done small pieces before? And what's the smallest you have done? Let me know in the comment section. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see similar content. See you in the next video. Bye!